welcome back. Excuse my braids. I have layers in my hair, so it's kind of hard to not get these pieces to stick out super bad. But um, today I'm going to be doing a face routine for you. I didn't cream contour or anything, so if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I'll get that up for you guys. But also I'm going to be doing an eye routine right after this with the same face, so that's why I don't have eyeshadow or brows or anything on. But um, yeah, this is a full coverage look. I got a glow going on. Got some contour. If you want to learn some tips and tricks on how to get a nice flawless face routine, just keep watching. Okay, so to start today, I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. We're going to be going in with a matte foundation. So I really am going to use this to give my skin some life. And then to fill in some areas where I have bigger pores, which sounds bad, but it'll make your makeup look better. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is the equalizing one. I'm just going to take a little bit of my finger and just pat it in where my pores are. I don't want to swipe because that won't really blur them. It'll just move it across the skin. So by patting it, it'll really get it into your pores. Again, it doesn't sound good, but... Oh well. Now for any areas I have redness, I'm going to take a green concealer. Anyone will work. This is the NYX HD concealer. And I'm just going to dot it on and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Now even though we haven't gone in with foundation yet and I don't normally put um, creams or liquids on top of powders, I don't want the green to move around. I want it to stay where I put it. So I'm going to take some of the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to take it on a little blending brush. This is the Anastasia one. And just a tiny bit, like I'm not even going to pour it onto the lid. I'm just going to take what's on the lid and tap some of that off even. And just very lightly set it. So now we're going to go in with foundation and this has been my favorite lately. This is the Herb Decay All Nighter Foundation. It is very full coverage. And I'm just going to take it on a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to put it directly on there. I'm just going to take one pump to start with, kind of dot it around and then blend it in. And then I'm also just going to take a little bit down the neck. So to make sure that it matches. And if anyone was wondering, I'm in the shade 1.5. This does oxidize. So which means once you put it on 5 to 10 minutes later, it'll be a little bit darker. So if you're buying this, make sure you get a shade lighter or a shade and a half lighter. I don't know. Do they make shade and a half? I don't know. Just, you know. Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I'm going to mix it with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral and this is in the shade 15 Fair. These are my two favorites. The Urban Decay one, the only reason I mix it is because it's a little bit too light, even though I'm very fair. But them together makes a really good color and they're both super blendable. And, yeah. I'm just going to take that same damp beauty blender and just pat it in again. Like I've said before, you don't want to rub it in. That'll just move the product around. It won't give you pretty much any coverage. And I'm going to take it up on the side of the nose. I don't like to contour my nose, but... This just kind of helps make it not look, well it does make it look smaller, but just, I, I don't know, I like how it looks, so that's what I do. And the reason I put the concealer where I did is because you want to give your face dimension. And doing that, you're going to be making the um, like T-zone and the under eye brighter and bringing light to the face. And then the perimeters, you're going to be adding bronzer and darkness and you know, shaping your cheekbones, so if you only put the dark on it, it'll just make you look darker. If you only put the lighter on it, it'll just make you look lighter. It won't make your skin tone look even, and it won't make it look the same skin tone that, you know, your hands have or anything. So you want to make sure you really even it out with the dark and the light, and that you put a really even amount of each on. 
And now to set concealer, I'm going to take that same RCMA No Color Powder that we used to set the green concealer. This time I'm going to use some more. I'm going to pour it onto the, pour it onto the lid. Get out any creases. And then I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take a different damp sponge just because I don't like to mix my powder on the same beauty blender that I'm going to keep using. I'm just going to pick it up like this and press it right under my eyes. I'm not using a lot of pressure. I'm just patting it on really lightly because I don't want to move any of the concealer. And then you can see there's a lot left over, so I'm just going to go all the way down. I'm going to put the most right under my eyes because that's where I'll get creases. And then I'm just going to blend it down and put it everywhere. We put concealer. I'm not going to set my whole face just because this foundation on me personally doesn't um, need powder and I don't want to look more cakey than I have to. So I'm not going to. If you need to, if you're oily, you might need to. Um, if you're oily, you might not want to use the primer I used. You might just want to use like a mattifying one or, you know, just a basic one. And really quickly, I'm going to get out the creases in my eyes and set that too. This is also my favorite way to prime my eyes. So that when I go to do my eyeshadow, it's perfectly primed and I have a nice base. And then I'm just going to keep patting in that in until I don't see it anymore. I don't really like to bake unless I'm doing like, you know, I'm going to be going out all night. But honestly, I'm not. I'm just going to take this off <laughs> after I film this video. My beauty blender just left. And then I'm just going to take a little fluffy haired brush. This is an Ulta brush. Anyone will be fine. And I'm just going to sweep under here really lightly. I'm not going to press hard at all because, again, I don't want to move any product. But I just want to make sure I don't have any excess powder sitting on my face. These little pieces are so annoying. <sighs> okay, so we are going to contour, but what I like to do first is I like to just bronze the face. So, um, I'm going to take my Milani bronzer, and this is an 04 Glow. And I'm going to take it on an angled brush, but I'm not going to take it on a super skinny one. I'm just going to take it on one that's fluffier. I'm just going to get a little on. And I'm not going to go low with this. I'm still going to keep it high, but I just want to give an all-over bronziness before we actually go in and contour the cheekbones and stuff. So as you can see, I'm still keeping it above that line where I'm going to contour, but I'm being a little messier with it. I just like doing this because I think it makes the contour look more natural and it just kind of makes my face look warmer without you know, having harsh lines. I'm just going to take a little on the forehead and on my temples. And then I'm going to take some right here. I don't really like to put my contour color here. You can, but I just prefer to do this. I'm going to bring it down the neck a little bit. Now I'm going to go in and contour. I'm going to take the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is the light to medium. And I'm going to be dipping into this middle shade right here. I'm going to take a MAC 168 brush. I'm just going to take some of that color. Tap off the excess. And just, I'm going to focus right on those cheekbones right under it. This is the one I'm not going to be blending up like I just did, which is another reason I like to um, do that bronzer first. And if you do get a little down here, don't worry. We're going to clean it up in a second. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run a little bit right at the hairline so that you can't really see the difference between the really whiteness of my head since my hair is kind of back and the bronzer and that will just kind of help it all connect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip into that same shade in the Anastasia kit, and I'm going to take this fluffy hair brush, this is the same one we used to set the green concealer, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that, and I'm going to take it right under my under lip, and this will kind of make it look bigger, it'll kind of make it look like there's a fold, or a bigger fold. I'm just going to take it right there, not a lot, just a little bit. And then you can contour your nose, I guess I'll contour my nose. I'm going to take a clean brush. This is an Avon brush. It is the crease brush. It has like a kind of a point to it. I'm not going to take a lot of this at all. I'm just going to dip in like that. 
and then I'm just gonna go really lightly and then bring it into my brow. I'm gonna bring it down a little here. And then I will just do a little bit right here. Now I kinda wanna even that out, so in the palette I'm gonna take this yellow shade and I'm just gonna draw a line down the middle of my nose to kind of clean up those edges and make it so the brown doesn't come too far in the center of my nose. If you want more of a um, sharp contour anywhere, not just on your nose, you can cream contour, which if you guys want a video on that, I'll do that. You know, all like 10 people that watch my videos. Anyway, if you want that, let me know. I'll do it. Now what I'm gonna do to clean up the contour we did, I'm gonna go back into the translucent powder. And you can use a regular beauty blender if you want. I find it easier to use this one. This is a Real Technique sponge. And use this end that's flat. And I'm just gonna pick up a lot of that powder, like so. And I'm just gonna drag a line and bring it down. And we'll just bake that and then once you sweep it away, you'll notice that your contour is a lot more clean and it's sharper. I love this powder, but the packaging is so off. First of all, it looks like Parmesan cheese and it gets everywhere. So. Still love it though. Okay, now for blush, I'm going to take this Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade number 5 Luminoso, and I really like this blush. It's, um, kind of has, like, an orangey undertone, like a peach color. And that's my favorite color to use on my skin tone because since I am fair, using kind of, like, the peachy, orangey toned will actually help to bronze up your face even more without actually making you darker. So, I'm just going to smile and put it on the apples my cheeks and bring it all the way back and mesh it in with the contour. Lock true. So as you can see it just kind of helped make my cheeks look nice and bronzer. Now this is the stuff I do when I want to look extra dewy, which I do because I have a matte foundation on and I don't like to look all the way matte so I'm going to take the Laura Geller highlight and this is in the shade This is in the shade Charming Pink, and I'm just going to take it on a duo fiber brush. This isn't my favorite one to use. I prefer to use the Real Techniques one. I don't have it with me though, so I'm just going to use this e.l.f. one. It's called a Small Stipple Brush. I'm just going to run it in there, and this is not like a highlight that's like, boom, but it's like going to give you a little bit of a glow, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it all over the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. I'm not going to take it low. I'm going to put it on the apples and then bring it high like this. So as you can see, it's just like a light glow. They are doing construction out there or something. I'm sorry if you can hear it. Now to highlight for real, I'm going to take... It broke. No. My champagne pop broke. Okay. I'm still going to use it. I'm going to take my champagne pop. I don't even know if you can see it. I don't want to hold it up because I don't want it to go everywhere. I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques brush. This is the, I really don't, so ha, like half of these have names and half of them don't and I can't learn which ones do and don't. So I think it's just like a setting brush is what it's called. It doesn't say, but, and I'm going to take it on the high points of my cheekbones. And I'm going to take it a little bit above the brow and on my nose and I just feel like that highlighter is kind of dark for me right now like it's not it looks the same color as my blush and bronzer so I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit by taking the Mary Luminizer by the Balm which is uh, it's still kind of a champagne color but it has a lot more white in it I'm just gonna lighten it up and you know add a little more highlight highlight is honestly my favorite thing ever and for my cupids, but I'm just going to take a little bit of my finger and then blend it in. Now when I do my eyes, I like to put a little bit at the arch of the brow and then on the inner corner. 
But I'm just doing a face routine right now, so we're gonna stick to that. Now to make the highlight look not so powdery, I'm going to take the damp beauty blender and I'm going to take the clean part. You can see that it has a lot of product right here and a lot of product right here. I'm going to kind of squeeze out the part that's clean and I'm going to take some Fix Plus and just spray it a couple times and I'm going to go right over that highlight and it will just kind of help blend it into the skin and take away any powderiness of it. Now I'm just going to take the same brush we used to dust away the under eyes and I'm going to dust away right here. Okay, this is not dense enough. Hold on. I'm just going to take this big powder brush and dust it away. Wasn't really getting it all off. So you can see it's a little bit sharper and cleaner on the liner and if it gets too sharp for you this doesn't really look too bad but if it does, you can always go back in with more bronzer um, or the contour shade and just blend it in a little bit more. Now to finish off the face, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and I'm going to shake it and then just spray my face with it and it'll just help the makeup stick to the face and stay on. This will also help the powders to set in so it doesn't look powdery, which is... Um, why we took the Fix Plus to blend in the highlight. And when you do this, you don't want to look, you know, close your eyes or anything. You just want to keep everything not creasing. Hey guys, this is my final look, for my face at least. I'm going to be filming a eye routine with the same face on, so I'm not going to put in any eyeshadow or anything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was useful for you. If you liked it, please subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment. Um, but yeah, please subscribe if you want to see more. I will be posting more videos, hopefully. It's just kind of, I'm learning. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Bye.